Hey yo everybody, I'm a Nick and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomized. On the last episode, I basically found Diddly Squad except for like a heart container and a bunch of Skulltula tokens. Though going up and down the river was uh, some nice fun and I think... Sorry, I just sometimes I have to concentrate when I'm pushing buttons. Anyway. I think we're gonna start things off by actually doing the shooting minigame, because I have the bow now. Though I probably could do these shooting minigames anytime I have access to a B button, but you know what, whatever. I think, I can't remember if this is still considered nighttime or not. I can't do that yet because I don't have fire of any sort. Oh yeah, I planted this. Let's get this. What is this? Now that I'm just kind of thinking about it, uh, pick up the thing. It was a goddamn recovery heart, but you know what? It was worth it to check. That, uh, that thing's flying. I must say no. Get out of here. All right, it is the daytime, which means one thing. I have a hookshot, motherfucker. Uh, doesn't work from here. God diddly damn it. I can do this. Yeah, the, the hook shot is shitty range. But you know what? That's just how it works. And that's the kind of aiming I'm going to be working with for this minigame, so, uh... Probably gonna take me a few tries. Thankfully, I have the money. Oh, thank God. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, we're starting things off normal. I like this. Oh, uh, shit, shit, shit. There we go, there we go. Got it! Now it's just the red ones. Fuck! Free game. Free game. Damn it! Ah, I don't fucking care anymore. Cause I fucked up. Damn it! Ah, can I get free? Thank you for the free. I don't like this random shenanigans. Then again, I'm playing a randomizer. So, I don't know what the reward for this is! Oh shit! Got it! Okay, no cuts. It's just a refund. You know what? It could be worse. Could have been a blue. It could have been a blue. But I think the hook shot is enough range for this, right? You know, in all honesty, honest. Oh, yeah, in all honesty, I should do this at night because there's a skull called Skulltula I can also get. I'm gonna do it in this house because I feel like it. Because that means I don't get forced to the other entrance. I get forced over here. And now there's an available Skulltula. And I can easily hook him up, shot my way onto this roof. Which means I can fuck up real badly. You know what? That's fine too. Come on, Link, you can do this. You have just enough range. See, I can do it. And there's a Skulltula. And we backflip. And I said, and we backflip. I wanna backflip into it like a boss. It's another free Hylian shield. You know what? Meh. Uh, drop, and then we can also get this entrance, which means this piece of heart, which is actually 50 rupees. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Uh, I can't remember if there was a Skulltula over here at night. 
I know it was there as a child. I don't know if it's an, if it's child only though. So might as well investigate while we're here. Nah, that fucker ain't here. Stupid boomerang only skulltulas. Though now that I have the hook shot, I can get the skulltula that's in this tree. That's near the village, because it's a hidden grotto you expose with a bomb. I think I'll do that. And then I think I'll buy the Goron tunic and it's into the volcano for me. Because I can grab that song. I can't remember if the trigger is here or not for playing a song. No, that's still here. Guess I should be the temple? If I want any of that to happen. God, I really want to beat a temple or, or a dungeon of any sort. Like, I want progress of some sort. But I'm still scrambling for items because I don't have the right combination. Well, technically, I have the correct combination for the forest temple, so we might as well just do that. But first, a bombing story. A story about how there's a grotto right here that you can expose using a bomb. You know, this one. Get in the grotto, man. Ugh. Die. Okay, now I'm curious. How many do I have? I am one off. You bastards. But I know where one is. This means it's time to go to the forest. Which means one and one thing only. Yeah, doing that little dumb edit because I feel like it. All right. You know what? I came in here at the wrong time of day, so uh, there's a skulltool I can get as an adult because I have a hook shot. So let's just turn it into nighttime and grab the asshole skulltool that's over here. That's on top of this tree. Hey, get out of here. Everyone's scared. I don't like that, you know, kind of have to be a hero and stuff, so this isn't the correct angle. It won't let me hook onto it. You know, I have to do this sort of thing. You know, come on. I, I can go to the desert now. That's another item. I can also attempt that dungeon too for a moment because I have a slingshot or don't have one but there's another skull I want to get that one skull to let it's here at night and at least do that because at least I can actually get by Mido this time because I have the Saria song all right buddy oh let me through let me get a skull to la and then I should technically just warp to the temple because I have access to that. Can't do that. Could do that. Probably in a moment here. Okay, asshole. I wish I could just learn it from, you know, doing the back, hearing the background music, but you know what? This is fine. Only reason I needed to do this is because of that. And yep, you hear it. It's right here. That's the only reason this exists. It's more bomb chews. More bomb chews are always appreciated in my book, even though I don't have to use them as much now. Still, always nice. So how about, uh, we check and see which of the uh, forest temples I got. Because my last seed was the Master Quest one. If this is the normal one, then there's a gold Skulltula at the uh, 
entrance of the temple. Which I am super into. Okay. First things first. Going up. And in the temple we go. This is the normal one. Die. Come on. Stab in the butt. Yeah, this is definitely regular forest temple. I can do this with my current equipment. Come on. Just always a little too low or too high. There we go. And then I'm just gonna use my hook shot to get to the chest that's up there. Now are you are you a key? Because honestly, I hate finding keys in this dungeon more than uh, fucking water temple, honestly. But now that we have 30 gold Skulltula tokens, we can do the, th we can get another thing. Ay, 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 god damn it. <sighs> at least I can pl climb part of the way up using the hook shot. So at least I could do that, right? Otherwise, it's just a slow ass climb. I don't know why, out of all the temples of this game, I like the forest temple the least. Probably because I was always spooked by wall masters as a kid in this one section, but... Other than that, I just, I don't like hunting for the fires in this temple. It's just, I find it tedious. Plus, I don't like Stelphos at this point in the game. They really hurt. And while I do, normally I have 10 hearts when I'm playing a regular ass game. So this could be a little risky, but I think I can do, I can manage. I think I can manage on eight hearts. I've done this on three, so I do have that accolade, which I don't, ha I don't have any way of showing it, but the only way I have of showing it is showing my virtual console file. Uh, there we go. Got a little refill. One of these ways has a Skulltula, if I remember correct. It's right there. There we go. Let's go and grab that before we go any further. Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah, I hear ya. Just another goddamn token. This normally is a key. Ow! Come on, asshole. I need every bit of health I can get. And not these nuts. Okay, game time. You just normally keep your shield up and you wait for them to strike. Like this. And then when they start jumping at you, it's like keep doing jump stat jump attacks at you, then you can really go ham with the damage. Yeah, that ain't gonna reach. They can jump attack through your shield. The hitbox is big enough that they can do that. So if you're not careful, they can do that. But if they keep jump attacking, then that's a way for you to go ham with the damage. Even if I don't like them, I do think they are a good test of skill in this game. At least in terms of sword combat. Because the Wolfos are just... You wait for them to move for a moment, and then you dodge them. Which, to some people, that would probably bore the shit out of you. Alright, let's get this guy in a bottle for safety. And then let's re-equip the hook shot. It's nice I have the fairy bow already. I will say that. Which makes which will take a lot of the frustration off of this temple. I do wish I had fire arrows just to make the ultimate convenience, but it's honestly not that much of an issue. Alright, so I think for now. I think we'll go outside next, cause one is a Song of Time block, and that's the first one you're supposed to do. Uh, come on, man, hit buttons right. 
The other one is an arrow switch. But since I have the bow, I could do that. But I'm gonna do this first because I can. All right. I did forget to go and get nab the Scarecrow song, so I can't do that one section, but that's not honestly much of an issue. I can shoot this guy down and this guy down with it, with the hook shot, but normally I would have to dodge past this guy. But since I already have the bow, I could just shoot him down and not have to worry about dodging a Skulltula. Yes, it feels so lovely to make progress. Oh, I love it. All right. And I believe this is just a stupid bubble. Ow, asshole. At least these aren't the curse ones. Those are slightly annoying. So this would normally be a map chest? I think this is a map chest. Instead, it's another token. Uh, you die in one hit, so I don't care. You're just a normal Skulltula, so I don't care. But I need to be a little bit closer to hit the target. There we go. This will drain the water so I can go what would normally get a key because this is the side that opens up when you uh, use ack. Ow. Because this is the side that opens up when you use the arrow on the switch. If I had the Scarecrow song, I could get that one chest, but I don't, so we're going to just jump down and take a little damage. And there's two hearts here for immediate recovery, so that's fun. I wouldn't be doing this sort of shit if I turned on one-hit kills, because fuck that. Uh, piece of heart. At least I have a key. Ugh. And there is a Skulltula along with that chest on the other side, so... If anything, this was a, a whole lot of nothing. But you know what? A whole lot of nothing is A-OK. -okay. Uh, just trying to think how much more of the dungeon I want to do for the time being. Uh, I think we're going to get to the switch. The first switch, and then I think that's going to be it for an episode, because that part can get tricky if I don't get the right key drops. All right, shoot you, because we're going the right way. We can ignore the bubble. We can ignore the bubble. Yeah, I don't really have any super cute tricks. I, wait, I have hover boots. There could be some neat shit I could do with that. Like maybe get over that way earlier than I, than I could. Let's see now. Navi, shut the fuck up. I have things I want to do. Can I get over there? from a higher point if I have the hover boots. But there, there's a chest I want to get first. So first things first, I need to push this over here. It's going to take me a little bit. At least I can do that. Push it back so I don't have to go all the way around. Though I am going to have to go all the way around anyway to get to the other side of this to push it into the gap. Yeah, this is part of why I don't like the dungeon. It, it, It's slow paced and not entirely under my control. All right, so this will finish this off. Ah, oh, this is all too slow. All too slow. And you know what? I'm gonna have to take a quick cut because my guts are telling me to. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. And we are back, so just, you know, I just kind of have to listen to myself and be like, oh, hey, you should probably go use a restroom, especially because that's when you have ulcerative colitis. You should really listen to yourself. 
because ulcerative colitis is not gonna stop for you. I'm just gonna warn you right then and there. So before I do anything else, I have to go this way and I really need to shoot this because normally this just gives you a bundle of, this is a bundle of arrow refill. This is prob, uh, it's a piece of heart. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. This probably isn't good. Cause I'm going to need a key to get ahead, which means I got some hover boot tricks to do. This ain't gonna be fun. Cause if I can do hover boot tricks, I can do a lot of things. Let's do the tedious thing by going up this way. At least once this is done, I don't have to push any more shit. And this puzzle was a bit cooler in the Master Quest version, I'm gonna be honest. All right, just push this in and that's all done. I think this is the height I can get this trick done at, so we're gonna have to try it. Cause I don't have any other methods of uh, getting over here. There we go, made it. All right, I want my traction back, motherfucker. This, ch if this chest does not have a key, I'm fucked. Cause this guy wants to choke me out and I'm not into that sort of thing, so. How's about no? And we could stun the little bastards too. There we go. I remembered this from a previous playthrough. Using a Deku nut to stun them makes them so easy. Holy shit. And I don't have to worry about, the, about them trying to choke me out, which always threw me into a panic. Yes! This is a key. This was an important key. But I hate to say it, but it's time to end things off for now and then continue with the rest of the dungeon in the next episode. So, on today's episode of Ocarina of Time, I check some things, got another warp song, and we can do a temple, which hopefully I should finish in the next episode. So with that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.